Well, when Debbie reached out and asked us if we'd like to celebrate the birthday of an opossum, we of course said yes. This is Ghost. He's so precious. And this is also Sarah and Debbie. Um, Ghost is turning four years old, which is a really big deal. And to celebrate, they are kicking off an awesome fundraiser. Welcome in, ladies and Thank Mr. You. Ghost. <laughs> um, okay, so explain why this is a big deal. So it's such a big deal because opossums in the wild typically only live about one to three and a half years. So Ghost is defying all the odds by being a healthy, happy opossum at our center. So we're thrilled to celebrate this whole week with him. Okay, show this kidney bean yeah. because this is exactly, let's see if our, our director can zoom in on this. This <laughs> is the size that he started at, a little kidney bean, and now he's four oh, years yes. old, precious little baby. <laughs> um, okay, so very good. So let's talk about this fundraiser and, and what, what you got going on these next couple days. Yeah, so we've had a busy week so far, but um, tomorrow we're actually doing a live walk with ghost. Uh, right at the center and we're going to, uh, to answer questions that anybody has as he goes around and forages. Um, so it's going to be a live interactive event on Instagram at 1030. Thursday is the big day from 5 to 6 p.m. at Shelby Bottoms Nature Center. Very good. We are doing um, a birthday party for Ghost. We're going to have a cake that he'll be eating and there's also a cake that we can eat as well. Um, and then, as you said, uh, our artwork that has done, been done courtesy of Ghost, we are going to be giving away a piece of art to a lucky donor on Saturday that has been made by Ghost himself. Yeah, we cannot brush over that part because he himself is an artiste as well. Yes. Ghost actually painted this painting that's right here next to these ladies. Very good. Okay, so this all is to race. There he is. There he is at work, Mr. Ghost. Get it, man. I am so proud of you. Four years old and still young. And I do want to say, so Please. this painting is not is an original, but this one's actually for you guys. Just to thank you for all yes. that you've done. Oh, thank for you so life. much. We can you. you guys could, can as well. Please, we're looking for donors, and I want to explain why it's so important to donate. Because you guys, you're not just taking care of of animals like ghosts. Who else are you taking care of? Yeah, so a great question. We're a small uh, rehab center, and in addition to our educational ambassadors, we are also primarily a turtle hospital. So we receive in injured turtles, and we rehabilitate them to release them back out into the wild. We also uh, occasionally take in baby opossums, baby bunnies, and injured songbirds. Um, but primarily our turtles, they do everything slowly, mm -hmm. including recover from injuries. Mm -hmm. So there is a heavy cost involved with each turtle in in terms of food, medication, housing, wound care. So that's really why we're raising money to keep our doors open and to keep moving forward and to also get out into the community and to teach community events and schools how to coexist with wildlife. I'm so glad that you touched on that because that's so important. Um, so let's say, you know, we do see a turtle, we do see an opossum like sweet Mr. Uh, ghost out there. What are your best pieces of advice? Sure, so turtles right now are moving around. This is their time of year to be out and about. Um, some of the things you can do if you see a turtle crossing the road, always move it in the direction in which it was going. Um, never relocate a turtle because they have a built-in GPS or tracking system oh, wow. and they want to stay where they want to stay and go where they want to go. Um, and certainly if you see an injured turtle or you see an injured uh, wildlife, member of the wildlife, always reach out to your local rehab center like us because there are times when they need to get into rehab for their best result to get back out into the wild. Okay, very good. Okay, now earlier you said that Ghost was going to eat a cake. What is an opossum cake? <laughs> it's um, full yeah. of insects yeah. and fruit and mice, all the delicious things. Oh, that, yeah. I want to pet him so much right now. So I see that he has a shaved side. What's that? He just kind of like your old dog, old cat. He did have a lipoma that we had to remove. And so he had surgery about uh, six months ago, so oh. that fur is not going to be growing back anytime soon. Well, he is bouncing back. Mm -hmm. What sort of family is uh, an opossum part of? Because oh. it's kind of like a rat looking, the tail is, but then the face is different. Explain. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you're right. It looks definitely like a rat tail. We get that a lot. These guys are actually marsupials, and so 
think pouch, kangaroo, those types of things. So yeah. they have a pouch. They can have up to 13 babies in that pouch. <gasps> and then you'll see them if you're lucky enough when mom is showing them different spots. So you might have them crawl up on her back and go over and teach him how to forage and everything. And like he that. doesn't hang from that. I learned that yesterday. Correct, yes. So a lot of people think you can pick him up by the tail, but this big boy, that little <laughs> tail cannot support him. So the babies, yes, the adults, not so much. This big boy is turning four. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank Happy you. birthday, Ghost. <laughs> Everyone, if you want to support Ghost and all of the animals in the Nashville area, check out these guys online. They're doing wonderful work. Visit NashvilleWildlifeConservation.com org.